Hi everybody, this is Miss Murphy. Welcome. Um, so I am going to demonstrate to you your next assignment, which is your forms and values practice drawing. So the objective of this assignment is to draw um, basic geometric 3D forms. You're going to be applying lines, shapes, details, and values on these forms to enhance their realistic qualities. So you will need an eight and a half by 11 paper um, or nine by 12, just sketchbook size paper. If you have a sketchbook, great. A number two pencil. Um, and also if you would like to use a tissue for blending your values, that's something else that you can use as well. Um, or a Q-tip. So the first thing you're gonna do is divide your paper into four sections um, as evenly as you can. You can use a ruler if, if you need to. Um, or fold your paper if that it, if that helps you. Um, but I did use a straight ruler edge just to help me divide my paper up. Um, and then you're gonna start out by drawing your four forms. So we're going to be drawing a cone, a cylinder, a sphere, and a cube. So I'm gonna go over how to start out drawing each of those shapes before I apply any values at all. So I am just gonna start out by showing you how to begin the shapes. So I'm going to also label each section. This is going to be my cone. This is going to be my cylinder. And this is going to be my sphere. And this is going to be my cube. So that way I have kind of laid out where I'm going to put everything in my drawing. So I'm gonna start out by drawing my cone. Um, I'm sure you've seen the shape of a cone before, but I'm gonna demonstrate just how to start it out by seeing the basic shape that you normally would draw, which would probably be a triangle versus a cone. But we are basically starting it out the same way that you would draw a triangle. So I'm gonna start out by just taking my pencil lightly, and this is also showing you the size and the scale of each form that you need to draw. So imagine you are drawing a triangle, that's how you begin. There's only one difference when we are drawing this and turning it into a cone. I suggest leaving some space around each form that you draw because you might wanna do shadows and also you're going to draw an imaginary light source. So I've started my cone. Instead of drawing a straight line like I would normally do in a triangle, um, I am going to draw a curved line. So I like to think of this as a smiley face. I know you've drawn a smiley face at some point in your life. So you draw a little curve from one end, one point, think of these as points, and there you have it, you have your cone. So instead of drawing a triangle, I turn that into a cone. All right, so I've drawn out my cone. Now I'm going to draw my cylinder, okay? So think about when you draw a rectangle, except we're not drawing a rectangle, we're drawing a cylinder. We're doing something um, by starting out with a basic shape, but then turning it into a three-dimensional form known as a cylinder. So I'm gonna pretend I'm drawing a rectangle. I'm not even gonna think about my cylinder yet. I'm gonna leave a little space on the top and the bottom. And then, I am going to draw the bottom of my cylinder the same way that I drew the cone with a little curve going from one end to the other. And remember to draw lightly. You don't wanna to draw too dark because you might have to erase. Now, I'm gonna to have to make my cylinder complete on the top and I need this line this curve line to match the bottom. So I'm gonna draw the same exact line. I'm not gonna worry about the other side yet on the top. And since this is a cylinder, you wanna make sure that your shape is not too thin. I would say like use your fingers, maybe like three fingers wide. 
Um, so I've drawn the first part of the cylinder. So notice I started with a little smiley face on the bottom. Now I'm going to draw a little frown on the top, which means my upside down curved line to complete my cylinder. So I'm drawing that and connecting it to the top two ends of my cylinder. And there you have it. I have my cylinder. So again, I just started my cone cylinder. I'm going to move on to the sphere. The sphere is actually the simplest one here because we're just going to draw a circle. Um, although you, you might have trouble drawing a circle, remember that it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to try your best. Um, now, if you know how to draw letters, you can definitely draw a circle. So think about when you make the letter O. Um, it's basically the same thing when we're making a cylinder, except we're going to add some values in it. Sometimes when I draw a cylinder, I start with a very wide U shape as I begin lightly on the bottom. And then I just complete the top by rounding it out. And then remember, you're drawing lightly, leaving some space around the edges so that we can then create shadows in our next stages. So I have that shape next that's ready. Um, my last form is going to be my cube. So again, we're just going to start out by drawing a square. Remember in the beginning, we started with a triangle. Here we started with a rectangle. Now I'm just going to draw a square. So I'm just going to draw the best square I can. And I just sometimes go like two parallel lines. I'm going to start out like that. I might actually say to draw this a little bit closer to the edge because you need some room. So leave a little space on the edge because you need to draw the back of the cube. So you're going to draw your square very lightly. You may use a ruler, a ruler's edge if you need. If it helps you, that's fine. Um, you definitely don't have to, but you can do that for this if you need to. So um, now is the tricky part where I need to figure out how to draw the back of my cube, right? So what I normally do is think about these as these three sections right here as points, okay? And I am going to then draw a line going back from this point as if it's going not too far, but I'm going to go to that point. I'm going to make another point back here. If you need to use a ruler, you may just like that and just take a little straight edge. So then the ruler does help because then I take my ruler and I hold it down here and I'm going to make another line. You can even measure it if you want. Um, you can go, okay, so now I'm going to draw a line about the same length on the bottom. In this, So I just take my ruler or even a piece of paper, an edge, and hold it down here. And then I know that it's going to go and be approximately the same length, right? So how would I close this? Well, I have to connect these lines, right? So I did notice when I pull this down that actually it's a little bit too far out. So I'm just going to erase that end and then just draw a straight line down. So one thing to remember is that the only lines that are diagonal are the lines going off the sides here. So from these points, the, all the other lines are just straight across or straight up and down. So the only di diagonal lines are going to be here. One, two, three. Okay. So since I've already drawn this much, um, I already know that this is going to be the back of my cube here, like this, and that this one, this line has to match and find and meet that line. So I'm going to draw it and go all the way back so that now if I went too far, you can see I'm just showing you that I don't want to go that far. I just want to make a point where those two lines meet just like that. 
and there I have my cube. That one's a little more tricky, but just remember that there's only three pair, there's only three diagonal lines in here. All the other lines should be straight across or straight up and down, horizontal or vertical. These three lines, one, two, three, are the only diagonal lines. And that kind of helps when I visualize how to draw a cube. There are other ways to draw a cube um, that I will demonstrate, but I just wanted to show you this basic one to get you started. Um, but this is how you want to start your forms and value practice before adding your values, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. Thank you.